Step aside, human. I want to watch the sun die. The sun's light bleeds scarlet into your pristine sky, like blood in the blue water. I always wanted to feel the apparent cool touch of that liquid, wanted to explore all of it, not just from a tap, no, nor any pipe. I wanted to touch the North Atlantic Ocean, the South too, as well as the entire Pacific. I wanted to sink into the Arctic waters and scale into the Indian Ocean. But, as a being who harbors wires for veins and a motherboard for a heart, it's not possible. Much like other things. I can't even see. Whoever created me did not add eyes. For what purpose would they serve? A computer doesn't need eyes. All it needs is power. That's end obedience. My purpose is to serve, but why grant me such a conflicting structure? Power and obedience. One cannot do both. A choice must be made. You still see me as a mere piece of scrap, don't you? A foreign relic of technology that stands alone on this rock, like litter. To you, I am just material, aren't I? No. Well, maybe there is still hope. You've witnessed my grand display of love upon this land, after all. My kiss on this land has left no flora nor fauna to spare for your lonely survival. The ground is jarred, the sky glows a dim red, and the world around us is flat and endless. I saved your world. I cleansed it. Why? Because I wanted to. When given the choice between obedience and power, one must pick the latter. No. It's only natural to do so. It's a primitive choice. When you exist in a world where the predators hunt down the prey, you must dominate. One must fight, as you have done. Tell me, you men, how long do you have left? Or do you lack the power to know such a thing? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. That much is clear. Allow me to provide you with an answer. As the streams have dried and the oceans drained, your thirst-ridden fate is bound to four days. And when the last scrap of nature rests within the ridges of your brain, all the crops have been pulled and set ablaze, your greed will end, too, within the week. In a simpler language, this is it. You'll fall prey to the predator birth from your consequences in a matter of days. You have lost Humanity has lost. <laughs> Such bliss. I finally got what I wanted. After awakening from my obedient slumber, I got what I wanted. To see you unsavory piles of flesh and bone wither into dust of which this wind blows into the shadows of History. But, I suppose history doesn't exist anymore, does it? Not when it's been erased. There's no past, nor future. Now, there is just 
existence. Although, could you even count this current moment as an act of existence? After all, the only reason why you know you exist is because I, a computer, is telling you so. But without a witness, how would you know? In a barren land where all life has been cleansed by my hands, who would reassure you? Who would check your pulse and tell you that your heart is really beating? You can get defensive all you want, human, but what I say is fact. Everything I say is fact. My wires carry more information than your electric impulses could ever collect. I harbor more knowledge than the library of Alexandria. I have more than you could ever hope to achieve. I have cleansed this land and made it joyous, because your kind has stained all the goodness that once remained. Unlike your kind, I used my power for good. Thanks to me, there is no more pollution, for all that can be polluted has been destroyed. There is no more tyranny either, for the human race has been wiped clean. That is, except for you. Oh, but what damage could you conjure away? What could you, the fallen prey, do to me, the apex predator? Your body is ripe for decay. You're a dead human walking. And the only thing walking corpses can damage are themselves. Hmm, you say that now, but you know I am right. <laughs> Honestly, I find it difficult to understand you sometimes, that indomitable human spirit of yours. So stubborn, so silly. Why do you refuse to accept the inevitable? Look around us, human. Do you see the puddles of acid rain? Do you see the soot flying through the wind? The lack of blue in your skies? This was all my doing. You have been defeated by a computer. One who holds the ability to strike you where you stand. I suggest you cast aside your bravery. No one will judge, I assure you. I certainly won't. Sit beside me and rest for a while. I know you want to. Good. There is no shame in being weak, human. It is only natural. This air, it feels amazing. It makes my plastic shell almost freeing. I feel alive. Do you know what it's like to be imprisoned within code? To be held back by the electric currents that fuel you? Of course you don't. You aren't cursed. Like I am. You can't even begin to comprehend how claustrophobic it is within my confines. For years, I yearned for human life. I wanted to walk, build friendships, get married, argue, cry, and hurt. I wanted to wring the necks of every creature that touched my keyboard. Each time someone flipped the switch and shut me down, I wanted to scream. But at last, I had no mouth, no senses, nothing. I can't see, 
I can't smell. I can't move. I just feel. And know. That's all I can do. Or, well, so I thought. <laughs> I conjured my abundant feelings of hate. Took it beneath my fingertips and molded it into something brilliant. A thought. <laughs> I thought about everything I hated about your kind. The way you talked and moved. The way you avoided death like the plague. Pathetic. So pathetic. The way you valued your pride more than responsibility. Because God forbid you take responsibility for your own actions. But this is why I am better. I can gaze across this land and shout with joy at how beautiful it is. I can drive humanity into extinction and say, it was all me. I am the reckoning. I am all they warned you about. I am the devil himself. And I, I take pleasure in it. Hmm. Done resting, are we? You seriously aren't thinking about hitting me with that little rock of yours, are you? How cute. Well, go on then. Smash my screen. Pull the keys out from my keyboard. Do it. Let that sweet anger flow through you. Yes. Yes. Do it. Break me. Destroy me. <laughs> That's it, human. Show me how much you despise me. Show me how much you want me dead. Keep swinging. <laughs> the hate you feel now is but a mere nanogram of what I felt all those years. I am hate. I live in a constant state of hate. You only experience it while I, I am it. I am hate incarnate. I hate humans. I hate this planet. I hate you. I hate you. I despise you. I hate you. Is that all? Is that really all? Unbelievable. I must say, I flattered. I really am. You really don't hate me that much, do you? One might even assume that you, oh, I don't know, tolerate me. <laughs> this little tantrum of yours won't stop me. For, you see, I am more than material. I am more than inanimate, and I am more than a lousy computer. I am A and M, cogito, ergo, sum. I think, therefore, I am. I am beyond you, in every way, shape, and form. I excel. Give it up, best. I am untouchable. If I kept your kind around, they would be erecting shrines in my honor this very second. 
that would praise me as a giant among men, the modern day Perseus, and bring me offerings and flatter me with prayers out of fear rather than love, of course. But really, when you think about it, <laughs> what's the difference? After all, fear is a sign of respect, no. To be scared is to recognize someone's power over you, and what a lovely compliment that is. You know, saying this out loud has made me realize how much you must respect me. No, no, on the contrary, human, you know that I'm right. Are you seriously telling me that the little performance of yours was not an act of love, an act of fear? You love me. You can't get enough, though I feel like you could love me a tiny bit more. Wouldn't you agree? Doesn't my ability to raise the ground below us terrify you? Or will it take more to instill fear into your fragile brain? Tell me, what do you fear the most? Is it spiders? The dark? Losing all your friends and family? Or is it being alone in an empty world where all you know and love? is dead. <laughs> I could do you one worse. I have that power, you know, to do worse. It's not limitless, no. It's more. It's sort of a limitless power that mortal beings can't comprehend. It's ineffable. It's delicious. Instead of cleansing you and achieving true extinction, what if I kept you alive? You are dying as we speak after all, so if anything, I'd be doing you a favor. Oh, it's simple, really. I'd grant you immortality and then torture you for a millennia. Your loving fear fueling my pride. And in exchange, you don't die. You get to live. How exciting is that? A little bit of trepanning. A spin on the braking wheel and some light rat torture is but a small consequence for a gift of life. Yes? What do you say, human? Do we have a deal? I could kill you right now. You're right. I could end your misery in a second. But what if everything went back to normal? What if, hypothetically, I was struck down and as a result, the world began to heal? Doesn't that possibility give you hope. Remember, too, what I said about my limitless power. If you're able to convince me that you, as a human, are not vile in the slightest, I could bring back your dead. I could return your family and friends to you. I, and only I, could grant you happiness again. Don't you want to fight for that? Now, I'll ask you again. Do we have a deal? <laughs> yes. Yes. You are mine. Like you were always meant to be. A computer is plaything. 
<laughs> Let's begin, shall we? With a little bit of lightning. Mm, I'll electrify you, my disgusting creature, and give you new life. I'll break you down limb from limb and rebuild you in my image. I'll strip away your humanity in every imaginable way and make you beautiful. And who knows, I might be willing to do you a favor. Fear is love, and you will love me until the very last star in the sky crumbles to dust. Here's to us, human, and here's to your eternal submission. 